happy Frosted Friday to all of our bakers out there. Today we are here with five ingredients to bliss that will be sure to get your mouth watering. Now I've got a couple of tips, tricks, and tiny secrets just for you. So stay tuned as we get started. So I've got here with me a bag of walnuts. Now, lots of times you can find them whole, so I'm gonna teach you a quick and easy way with a quick tip on how to make them teeny tiny. So you put them in a tiny Ziploc bag, just like this, and you can take the end of any kitchen tool that you've got and just squish them right on top. Easy enough, now you have teeny tiny pieces. Now to get started with our brownie batter, I am going to take one cup of flour and add into it a chocolate hazelnut spread, also a one cup. Mmm, right over the top of my flour. Yummy, yummy. Next, I'm going to take two eggs. Crack them right on top. One and two. And that is it. We mix, 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 and we're almost ready. I have used my wooden spoon to mix all of the batter together. So, now that our batter is all mixed together, I'm gonna to take my canola oil cooking spray. I like canola oil because it's always a healthier alternative. I'm gonna take my baking pan here and spray away. And put it on. Next, I'm gonna take a scoop with my nifty ice cream scoop of my batter here, right into my first cup. And I'm gonna keep going all the way across. Now some of my family members like walnuts, others not so much, so I'm gonna add a couple walnuts to the top of a few, but not to the others. This way we accommodate everyone, and everyone gets to enjoy this dessert together. Now I'm gonna finish these guys up and I've already preheated my oven to 355 degrees. This is going to go in there for eight to 10 minutes or until you can smell it and we're almost done. I just took our chocolate hazelnut bites out of the oven. I put them out to cool for about 10 minutes and now here they are, tempting as ever. So the last of the five ingredients on this beautiful fix here is my powdered sugar. We are almost to bliss as I sprinkle this across the top. Mmm, lovely as ever. Now it is time to plate, my favorite part where we get to decorate. So I've taken some of my chocolate hazelnut spread and I've warmed it down so it'll be easy to pour on my plate, like such. You can give it a couple of zigzags here and there. I like to put extra just in the middle. That way, my beautiful bite will get all of that juice soaked in. So I think I'm gonna grab one with walnuts. Put it right on top. And that way it sticks to decadent. Ooh, that warm, beautiful chocolate hazelnut spread is fabulous. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That crisp on the outside, mmm. The way that those flavors just marry right into that cake. Delicious, delicious. Now if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and give us a great big thumbs up as we post new videos every Frosted Friday. We'll see you next time.